Man, just look at that grass growing back so nicely. That just makes me want to get animals out on there a lot quicker, really. Just because it's so nice. What's up, Golden Girls? They're doing good, starting to get their, uh, their, their wing feathers started. And our plant starts are getting up. All of our squash and pumpkins and stuff are coming up nicely. We're starting to get some sweet corn in here. Some of the sweet corn is starting to come up. That's exciting. Things are growing at Fuller Farms. It's... All right. So we've already gone through this morning and done all of our chores of feeding the animals and stuff. So I, and I decided, I, I, I determined a project that I wanted to do. I should probably get some cutters. I decided a project that I wanted to do today, and that is to do something about the brooder barn. Let's make it more functional. Well, this is gonna be the next big project. I gotta do something about this garage, too. It's just not efficient, it's not functional. All of my tools are just basically scattered on the ground and, and you know, loosely arranged in the toolbox, and I can't find anything really frustrating all right this is highly frustrating I need to get that I need to get that cleaned up I need a workbench built in there All right, well, I suppose we'll just go get to work and if I actually need something, I will come get it and search around then. That's frustrating. That's gonna have to be a project done pretty soon. I gotta do something about that. I need a workbench in there. I need to organize all my tools and stuff. Everything is just really jumbled up from the move and I haven't had the chance to get in there and work on it yet. So today, I wanted to work on this brooder barn. Now you saw that we have pigs out here now. And I'm excited to show you the um, what they've done to these areas so far. So I didn't get in there and mow at all. Um, I didn't do anything to these little paddocks on the brooder barn. So I haven't gotten here and mowed at all. Now this is the second little paddock and they, the pigs have not been in here. This is no pig, no nothing. This is how it was, this is how the other paddock was too. Let's walk over here. Now the pigs have been here for, I don't know, maybe three or four days. Look at that, you can see into it. They've gotten all of this stuff down. Knocked all the underbrush down. And I, I can actually walk in there now. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that the day we put these guys in here. What's up, piggies? They're just loving munching on this these little berry bushes and stuff that are in here. Look at that. Getting right to work. Pigs are great clearers, for certain. I love it. We're gonna keep these two paddocks, and I'm gonna actually take the cattle guard or the the hog panel down that's splitting these two paddocks, and just open it and make it one big one. Same thing for this little area here. Um, we'll fashion out somewhere where we can get rid of this middle divider, and this will just be one big paddock area. Um, most because I don't really see a uh, need to split these up right now. We only have the four pigs. Um, I really don't plan on bringing any in here in the near future because four is a pretty good number for us right now. Um, and then that leaves this side. There's one, two, three. There's four 
small little uh, gated paddocks in here. And I'm just going to take them out. We don't need them. Now we'll save the fencing so that I could put it back up if, if we did end up needing it. But right now we just don't, we don't need this side. I'm not going to be putting the pigs in there because the pigs are already trained to electric. So, I mean, I'm thinking by the end of the week, we're going to get these guys, you know, I'll give them two weeks. Maybe by the end of two weeks, we'll have these guys fully trained to two strand poly wire. And uh, we'll get these guys out into the treat areas and stuff so they can get to work on the real big stuff. But we don't really need these, and I thought this area would make a really good spot to store our hog feed and, and feed barrels um, because it's just right here next to them. We have the feed barn over there. That's a cool little concept down there, but it's just too far away. Um, I don't want to have to drive, you know, way from the house, way on the other side of the barn over there to the feed barn, and then come back to feed these guys or wherever they're at when I could just, you know, come right here. This is more walkable distance. Uh, from the house then all the way out there is These guys are starting to learn that I mean food and I should probably give them a little food since I walked out here and They're trying to eat eat these weeds from on the other side of the gate So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get this area cleaned up get these gates torn out and We'll get our feet and stuff moved in here because I can I can bring my tractor at least at least part of the way in here. I can put my, the nose of my tractor in here and, and set pallets down right here of the feed whenever we get it. Um, I, can't, I can't get my cab tractor pulled all the way up in here, which, you know, is a bummer, but that's fine. If we get like a pallet jack or something to put in here, at least I can get the pallets here. So this is a lot to clean up. Um, I just need to get all these fences torn down and then all of that out there cleaned up which you know may or may not fully happen today but we're gonna get started on it and while I work on that um, oh and our birds so we showed y'all during the farm tour that we had a little birds nest up here right there they're gone the birds uh, the little baby birds up and flew away I guess it was their time I don't know it seemed like they might have been a little young but I mean they're not in there anymore there was one that fell out and it, it died it fell out so I mean I gave it to the pigs what's up doji All right, so I went and got my rake shovel and, a, and I got a hoe. Those should be all I need. First things first, I want to take down this middle divider for these pigs so that they can have the full paddock. And kind of maybe they'll start working on that area before I can get to it. Um, so kind of the plan, just so you have an idea. We're going to take out all of these uh, panels and T-posts and everything. I'm just going to clean out the other side of the barn here. So all of this is going to go. I'm going to clean it up and I'm just going to mow it and that's just going to stay open. We're not going to do anything for, with this area right now. For this side, so the pigs are right here, I'm going to open up that middle uh, that middle panel so that they have access to this whole side. We're only leaving, in, leaving them in here for like two weeks, so I just want them to get all of that down. I don't need to worry about splitting them into different pastures in here or anything. So we just got, I just got that middle panel down. And those guys are already over on the other side going down. These guys are, pigs are a good thing to have on the farm whenever you have a lot of cleanup to do for sure. I'm really happy with them. They're doing a good job. They're earning their keep. I couldn't find any uh, wire cutter, so I ended up just going back to get my tin snip attachment for the impact drill. And it, it actually worked a lot better than tin snips would have, or wire cutters, cutters would have. So I'm happy for, happy for having those. 
All right, let's, uh, I'm already getting hot. We got a few hours left to, to work on this project that we're gonna be running into town to get feed barrels and water barrels. So right now I just have, um, I just have their water running into just a little water trough and they're getting in it and you know we don't want that so they, we want them to have clean water we don't want them to get in it so we're going to pick up a few 55 gallon barrels and i have the um, little pig spouts and we'll make some uh, water water barrels with those oh all right get some water get back to work okay this is interesting so I got all those, I got all of the, the kennels pulled out and I was starting to clean up the ground. And this is what we have. This is what, this is what happens whenever you try and use a deep bedding method on solid ground. It's like they have, they have horse mats uh, covering the entire bottom of underneath this carport. And it seems like they tried to use some sort of deep bedding method to an extent where they were just adding hay and stacking hay and they had goats here. But now that this has been setting for so long, all of their deep bedding hay, everything is now just, it's just rock solid. These things are like bricks. So I think what I'm going to do, because trying to use the shovel to, to clear all this stuff out is pretty difficult. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that no cab tractor over here, push the roll bar down, and just scrape it, scrape it all out of here. I think that would be the, the easiest way to do it. I'd say tractors make light of hard work and we're done. At least the main part, you know, I got, we got all of that cleared out and cleaned up. Now you can, all of the horse pads are, all of the horse pads are uh, revealed again. And then we can use this area here to put all of our barrels and our feed pallets. So the next thing I need to do is bring the trailer over. Um, I had gotten some of those um, bucket bolt-on pallet forks. And I guess the, the ones that I got were just really cheap because they broke the very first time I tried to use them. And uh, so I don't have pallet forks. I need to get me some, I want to get just some just standard uh, skid steer style pallet forks, but I don't know whenever that's going to be in the cards. Um, we got that cleaned out, so now I, just, I need to bring the trailer over here, unload all of our feed bags underneath here so that the trailer's clear, clear and clean for going to pick up barrels today. So I'm going to... I'm gonna kind of clean up some of my mess here and then get the trailer over. Okay, I'm pooped. Moving 2,000 pounds of pig feed from one pallet to another pallet is not fun. Now we get to move all these again uh, later tonight and maybe into tomorrow, we're picking up 12 food grade metal barrels that have the ceiling lid. 
I'm gonna put all this food into them because, I mean, I don't want my, this is a big investment, guys. Buying, buying a ton of pig feed is a big investment. And uh, Texas Naturals is the non-GMO, non-soy, no chemicals. They don't put any bug sprays or any of that kind of stuff into it. So I'm already fighting weevils and um, other little critters and stuff trying to get into these bags. And these bags aren't really that hard to get into. They're just kind of like a tough paper bag. So we're going to move all of these into airtight metal containers so that I can keep them a little bit more protected than just sitting out here in the open. We're going to go pick those barrels up here in just a little bit. And then I'll come back out here and move once again 2,000 pounds of pig feed into barrels. <laughs> all right, we, got, we picked up our barrels. We got 10 of them and then we got two plastic barrels to make uh, uh, for water. And I got here and, and started looking around in the barn. Guys, they have made such a difference out here in just, just today because I just opened up the, those T-posts over. Look, they've already cleared out this whole area right there and it's a lot thinner. It's a lot more thinned out of an area now than it was just this morning. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm very impressed with these guys or girls. They're all... All of them are girls. We got four four ladies here. Three will be going to the butcher on December 4th, and one of them is going to be kept around um, and be named Bertha. Big Bertha, because she's going to birth a lot of babies. Hopefully. Man, I'm already dripping sweat. Been out here for like 10 minutes. We got all our barrels in here. All of these have a lid with the little ring seal so that we can keep our food just a little bit fresher. I just need to dig them all out of here. My biggest question I'm really, really interested in finding out is how many bags I can put in each barrel. Because gallons to Pounds doesn't really correlate. That's two different measurements, uh, mass and volume. So you can't really calculate how much a 50 pound bag will take up in, like how many gallons a 55 or 50 pound bag will take up. So I'm interested in finding that out. So let's, let's find out. The answer is six. You can fit six bags in one of these. I was pretty spot on, that's what I was saying. Five or six bags, that's good. If I can fit six bags in each of these, I have 40 bags, 10 barrels. So I can have 300 pounds of feed per barrel. That's not bad. That'll help me with some math whenever I get inside and work up on our worksheet for these pigs. I'm gonna get these things loaded up. I'm gonna get inside because it is hot. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're uh, really seeing a lot of growth in the channel. We're super excited about it. Couldn't, couldn't be more thankful for all of you that are, that are uh, watching our journey, being a part of our family. We will, uh, we're going to end this out with filling up all these barrels, and we'll see you guys next time.